So Gemini, let's begin. Let's see what's coming your way. We do have the Five of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. Somebody is disappointed for not reciprocating. Uh, the feelings can be you, can be this other person. They realize now how precious you are and it's like, oh, I feel guilty. Five of Cups and the Hangman, seeing things from a different perspective, sacrificing, stagnation. Somebody is disappointed, right? Because of this stagnation, leading nowhere, a situation actually leading nowhere. Five, a love situation, Five of Cups, Two of Cups. This is the energy of spiritual union. I know you are mine. I know I have a special bond. I know this one is, um, this bond will last forever, right? That's a Two of Cups. Five of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Material Harvest. Somebody is telling you, I am single right now. I am not seeing anybody or they are not of that much importance. Six of Wands, Victory and Success. Right? We love victory and success in love. It means it's possible. And when we think we can have it and we um, believe in it, we manifest it and it comes into fruition and into life. Love this, bottom of the deck, six of cups, memories of love, reconciliation, soulmate, might be a Virgo in your life or simply somebody went through the journey of the soul with a hermit, right, and started to manifest something, a new life. We do have the devil and the strength, um, Capricorn energy, um, Leo energy. I, I don't think it belongs here, any of it actually, but it's a, it's a good um, kind of um, energy to have major arcana because um, we know a bigger thing is happening. It's not just pain and heartbreak and uh, something that has no meaning, right? It's on the contrary. It happens for um, a greater good um, and your life path. So Six of Cups, we adore Six of Cups. It is soulmate card and confirmation and manifestation. So let's see what changes. Because somebody got smarter and wiser. We love this. So Gemini, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's have current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for you and the person you are dealing with. Oh, three. Okay, we love this. Three of Wands, partnership and alliances. We do manifest a partnership here, Gemini. Can be you, can be. Um, if you are dealing with a Virgo, they are quite keen about this. This is really a uh, longing for you and manifesting a bond again and a partnership with you and expecting, right? This is the manifestation with expectation because I manifest, I expect, I allow time and space in my life for you, Gemini. So, so let's see what's going on um so gemini we went from happiness to discontent and boredom <laughs> we went from fun to oh you know where is the excitement and a lot of cups um so past energies i would say they made you happy at some point right and it started with a lot of happiness looks like a reconciliation we have twice the energy of in and out um so i might be picking up the energy of a gemini with a with a soulmate definitely a soulmate um, you know, um, going separate ways and coming back together in a reconciliation during an event of some sort, a gathering of people, and then um, the connection went back to not paying attention and go back to reconciliation and a lot of emotions, actually. And honestly, um, it's, um, you know how it feels, it feels like that kind of energy where we... Um, we are not comfortable, right? Uh, this um, um, commitment and relationship kept you in a very emotional state, you know, with all these cups. Um, and sadness, right? And sadness and isolation and not seeing the, you know, the uh, reality of things because of emotion. So um, they kept you on your toes. Um, and probably at some point you lost interest. Honestly, the energy is more on your side of losing interest and saying, you know, um, and kind of um, maybe starting to look elsewhere. That is an indication there. Now, this person of yours, um, 
boy were they focused on money right eight of pentacles nine of pentacles this is i wake up in the morning and i think about my job and my profession and how to make money and i go to sleep and i can't wait um can't wait to wake up tomorrow morning and start over focused on money focused on learning focused on honing skills on developing themselves very very highly oriented on assets um what makes them abundant what makes them independent probably the source of it all might be a little bit of insecurities and they were so working on staying on their feet in a very um, strong powerful way it is um, quite an energy there maybe that's why at some point we got discontent and bored maybe we are not getting the, at the attention we are supposed to uh, expecting also because you do have the three of wands as the overall energy somebody had a lot of expectations while the other person was crazy busy uh, just securing themselves with um, assets and, and goods and, and um, um, everyday kind of stuff, right? Which made you kind of emotional. And I am so not surprised. Uh, the energy between the two of you, Gemini, because we do have temptation, which is the devil, Capricorn energy, and we have firm foundation. While one person was working like crazy to build firm foundations, right? The other person got tempted. Um, can be sensuality, sexuality, a love connection, um, something else. Can also be this person so focused on money because, right, we say money is the devil's eyes. So um, because it's very tempting and luring and stuff. So maybe they were tempted by this, you know, I'm going to build something, um, you know, like an empire. So they stop paying attention. But honestly, I feel with this combination of cards, um, actually, and the energies that um, we got tempted because we were not getting the attention that we wanted because the other person was way too busy to secure themselves with um in their job, in their whatever education or whatever work they were doing, right? So where are we right now? Well, we miss them, of course, right? Five of Cups, this is missing, longing, mourning, the loss of um, somebody. Maybe, um, Gemini, you might have changed your mind. Um, took a soul journey for it. Can be you, can be again the other person. We do have the Hermit. So um, the silence got us thinking and longing and wanting. Um, and again, double the silence, right? The Hermit and High Priestess by Excellence is about um, its energies of silence. So this silence helped you understand something and opened up this um, emotional world, right? Of this emotional loss, right? Um, and of course, surrounded by silence, crickets. <laughs> No, no, it's nothing to laugh about, but reminds me of um, where I come from. That is this um, expression that I will not talk about today. Um, and it involves crickets and it involves love. So, um, but hey, um, I do love the intuition, right? Um, High Priestess is about intuition. It's about listening to that voice inside of you. And I'm sure that in the absence of communication, we turn ourselves to uh, within. Um, it's kind of a natural process and we have dialogues with us and we with ourselves, right? And we try to figure out and we listen more, um, you know, to whatever comes from within and the, uh, um, and the voice. And probably you want to know about them. High Priestess is the energy of the PI, private investigator, right? gathering information so probably we are taking a look a little bit see what they are doing and and that's how the missing part kicked in the miss and want um now this person of yours um they do have the four of swords right rest and rejuvenate uh probably going silent on you this is the energy of i need time and space in my bubble and that is a fire starting in their belly with the ace of wands of course can be still having passion for you but this is also new beginnings um, somebody here in silence develops this um, this energy of um, of looking forward, right? It's the energy of I this one will close and I'll I'll, I'll um, follow my passion and my dream and whatever vision they are developing there. But but mainly it is resting and rejuvenating. Um, it is the energy of the mind. 
So um, it's not, I'm not seeing action. They are not taking action in any direction right now. On the contrary, it's the energy of planning and strategizing. And because of combination of cards, um, Gemini it feels like somebody, this person of yours is really focused on, um, you know, on the mind, the planning and the strategizing. Somebody is very cautious about it feels like, um, you know, they've invested a lot of energy in the past and whatever they've built. And now it is the energy of, yeah, I'll have my passion with these. So once I'll have my new beginnings, I'll have. But let me um, assess the risks, right? That's a four of sorts. Let me plan, strategize, make sure I cut the risks off. And mutual energy is between the two of you. That is a desire to reconcile for both of you. Again, strong energy of in and out, coming back together and, and separating again. Three of Cups and the Nine of Wands. Yes, wanting to reconcile, but yes, also to blocking. Um, and it makes sense. Um, I, maybe maybe you are a little bit more available to this. Um, still journeying with the, um, with the Hermit and the High Priestess. So kind of like the universe saying you maybe f miss them but we are not there just yet in terms of um, reconciliation coming together of energies and they are uh, not and of course this energy of spiritual strength nine of wands is this energy of persevering it is um you know yeah i want to be happy but still i have to continue on this path um for now and it's one of silence it's one of silence for now Moving forward, um, Gemini, we have the devil this um, time on your side, and of course can be a Capricorn, um, no doubt, but we have the temptation again, and we have the six of pentacles, right? Um, so energy is coming your way, of course, temptation, it's, um, we call it at any corner of the street, um, that is temptation, but the six of pentacles is um, the energy of balance, um, the energy of reciprocation, so um, probably energy is coming your way is really managing between um, a state of balance and uh, making the right decisions um, in all fairness and justice um, versus the uh, tempting energies so i don't know exactly what you are tempted to do but because i'm seeing the devil i said you better don't <laughs> you know, i'm kind of joking but i um, teasing you a bit but um i would say balancing out uh, whatever is um negative in your life and whatever shadows you have uh, this is what's coming so this is you finding a way out this is you finding a way out from imbalance and going back to to a state of balance a state of stability and um and being at ease i would say and it's interesting we had cups in the past we have um cups in the present moment with the intuition which is the energy of the mind and we move towards pentacles so we we get more grounded we start to feel a little bit more solid on our two feet and um, kind of running for balance but still with the shadows in your energy now this person of yours uh, movement choices and decisions a lot of working again focused on work like like there is no tomorrow they might have a lot of responsibility too two of pentacles is over being um, having two jobs and working long hours and that is the four of cups they might not be paying attention to what's happening around them because again they are in the two of pentacles they have to keep the ball running right um absolutely the energy there and mutual energy is between the two of you the death the empress and the seven of swords scorpio energy taurus libra leo and um the energy of deception um so I would say two major arcana, right? One is about transformation. One is about um, abundance and extending um, emotions and stability to somebody. And then the Seven of Swords. It feels like none of you is ready to um, coming together or at least the destiny. The universe is not really leading you towards each other. Um, of course, as always, the transformation needs to happen. We were about, we, we saw it, right? All through the reading. Now we have all the energies on the table. And we have manifestation and we have wisdom. So, um, again, um, the transformation needs to happen. But for now, it's like you cheat yourself out of this or they cheat themselves out of this um, for some reason. So whatever um, truth you are not telling yourself, well, this is kind of, um, you know, 
kind of the way of the universe saying, mm, you know, we still need to transform and we still need to come from a place of truth, you know. The devil with the seven of swords coming your way. Um, some food for thought for some of you because, um, you know, it's, um, it's a lot of deception in one pill kind of energy, you know. It's a lot of deception. Um... And it, um, it will probably, um, Gemini, be this um, kind of exercise where we, we sit down and we look in the mirror and we uh, talk to ourselves like, um, you know, that, 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 one to one, right? Um, and we um, speak the truth. Whatever truth we are unable to say loud, we, we can have it to ourselves because that is something here. I'm not saying third party situation at all. But that is something that is a sense of honesty, a sense of truth that will lead to transformation, either of this connection of you, of you together with this person, whatever that is. That is. can also be the energy of the other person, right? doesn't have to be yours. Double, you can swap um, and take only what, what, right, what's in line with your energies. But I would say energy is coming away. I'm, I, I can't say a little bit concerned, but that is a very painful exercise. Painful. No, why do I say painful? It's a very um, honest truth kind of exercise where we need to sit down with ourselves and um, kind of speak the um, the truth and nothing but the truth, you know. Um, and they are way too busy to do this, um, you know. Again, four of cups, discontent and boredom, not paying attention because working too hard. So they might be manifesting, honestly, um, Gemini. As the overall energy, we have two, two different energies. We have one of wisdom and soulmates, and we have one of manifestation of expansion. So you might be in two different places with this person. You might be on two different pages, and, and that's all right, right? We all have a path and a destiny and a plan to follow. So um, uh, we might be um, on, on two different um, pages here. So let's ask for some guidance. Let's see, should we wait for them or we um, move on? I do not recommend putting your life on hold, but who am I, right? Who am I to say something here? So let's, um, let's see. Let's see what we need to have here. Um, Gemini, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Wow. Everything has its gift. So in the current situation, that is a gift for you. That is something that goes in your favor, to your advantage. This is something that makes you, um, I don't want to say richer because it's not about getting rich, but enlightened and um, with more substance in the current situation. And now that's your homework to find out why, what. We do have focus on love look for the good in everyone so we are sensing here right that you are guided to see you might be upset with this person the devil is the energy of uh, fear and anger and uh, jealousy and um, dark energies and dark thoughts in regards to a person so uh, we might be guided actually to see them with the mind of love you have focus on love and choose love you always have choice. Make yours with love. Gemini, I don't know exactly what you're focusing on. Maybe you're focusing on money and abundance. But we have here miracle and blessings. That is a gift in this that you need to start seeing. Focus on love, choose love. One in the same energy. Okay, let's have some guardian angels. We're going to have two. And then we move um, to the um, energies that we need to get back into the flow. Seven of Cups, we do have a little bit of confusion, right? Um, so your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and then make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. And you do have the Six of Action, which is the Six of Wands. Victory and Success. So we are no longer confused or you are guided to really um, see through 
confusion what this really is and uh, honestly the devil yeah temptation and confusion five of cups we are focusing on the empty cups and we are not seeing the miracles and blessings in this situation that's exactly the five of cups and in the past four of cups we were not seeing the blessing in the situation because we were discontent bored our back was turned on this um, situation we do have six of wands what a wonderful experience for you. Your project is a total success, bringing awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. Well done. If someone who can help you offers assistance, know that this person is heaven sent and say yes. So ask for help in your confusion. Um, Gemini, this is what I'm hearing. Um, it has to be a victory. You have to cut through it and finally start to see the light at the end of the tunnel in this situation. It's in your hands, I'm hearing, and you have choose love, right? Focus on love and choose love, so let's do it with love. Energies to get back into the flow, and we have one energy that completely flipped, and it is gratitude. I'm thankful for the life and the opportunities that it presents. And again, miracles and blessings and gratitude. It's like there is something in it that is probably wrapped in so many, um, um, so much paper in multiple boxes that we don't see it, right? And the universe is pointing, please look at this. Miracles, blessings and gratitude and victory. We have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. So we need to bring learn back into the flow, right? Looking at things from a perspective of not that I know everything and that is nothing I need to learn, but from what exactly is this teaching me? Surrender your ego, okay. We do have cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from the heart. Are you kidding me? This one um, kind of... Um, covers right choose love focus on love gratitude it's crazy a big ego can work against you but humility will further your goals i know we need to bring back now humility and happiness hell yeah i subscribe happiness we need to bring back happiness right i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path and bottom of the deck we do have denial I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And you do have fear, my love. You have the devil, right? I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And guess what? You have the fear with the devil and you have the awareness with the magician as the overall energy. So that is a powerful message here for somebody in terms of energies that we need to shift. In terms of um, inside work right awareness gratitude blessings gifts in the current situation and always from a place of love so uh, Gemini this is all that I have for you please stay safe and strong for me ask for help if you need um, as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and come see me next time love you take care